Okay, guys. I've shown you a few things about the brake um, setup already, but I haven't shown you everything because uh, one of the realities is I have to replace my brake lines. Uh, not only is it kind of in bad shape, right? But in essence, um, it's actually missing. So, for example, the main brake line to the pedal itself is gone, right? Um, the brake line that goes to the back to the back brakes, they're gone too. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna start the the middle piece yet, where we're the uh, master cylinder just yet. Reason means because I've gotta get the floor in before I, I can poke a hole and do that. But in the meantime, there's still a decent amount of, of research and stuff I need to do, right? So, so earlier on, I've already showed you guys how I took apart the caliper and put in the uh, new uh, pins and everything, right? So that's in good shape. Now. What you'll notice in the back here, let me, let me see if I can show you um, using one hand. I, I don't know if I could do this. All right, I'll try anyway. All right, so as you can see, for the front caliper, it has this kind of screw, and then it has a banjo setup, okay? Now, the banjo is, is, is pretty standard. If you take a look, let me see if I can tilt this. If you take a look somewhere around here, you'll see that there's actually a hole where, where that, um, so that's where, the brake fluid comes in, right? Um, if you take a look at, at the uh, at this as well, that's where it goes into the caliper and then pushes it, right? So that's that. Um, the banjo setup looks pretty good, so I'm gonna actually keep this, all right? However, this line is fairly old and it's fairly small. The good news for you, uh, the good news for us, is that it's fairly easy to take apart. Right. So what I did was was I took one of these, right, and I just put it here so that way you know it doesn't move. And then I use a size 11 to open this up. So as you can see, this is already coming out. Right. So now the next side is this side where um, it's hold on by this pressure. This um, wire actually starts from that head all the way through to the other side, right? Some places, some cars have set up where, where there's actually a, um, like a connector between the, you know, rubber line versus the, the uh, um, rigid line. Reason means because, because the front turns back and forth, um, we need this to, 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 to be able to flex a little bit, right? So here, this is a size 11. And on this side, as you can see, this is a size 14. So as you can see, this may have already been broken, right, wiring-wise, but this side I've already loosened with my 11. By doing that, um, what happens is it's actually holding this pressure plate in place, which means the pressure plate comes out and this wire comes out, all right? And then over here, same thing but backwards, so that's an 11. However, this side is actually 17, and I'm starting to remove that as well. So what I'm doing is, is I bought a new, I bought a new wire for this, so, so I'm gonna replace this out, right? I'm gonna actually build a whole new one for this, which is for this. I just need to make sure I get the right head, right? Um, I may be able to use, reuse the heads. Um, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But if I can get new heads, I actually would prefer that, right? And then of course, what I'll do after that is, is, is I'll tear this apart. And then when I do a whole new line from the master cylinder over to here, um, this will be, you know, I'll bend it and I'll run it and I'll show you guys a video on that as well, right? So at least that's what it looks like from a, um, you know, brake line perspective from the front. Um, at a later date, I'll show you what it looks like from the back. Definitely, it doesn't have a banjo, right? Um, it goes directly on. Um, unfortunately, for the back, I have to fix that uh, retaining um um, piece to so the wheels can come in in order for me to worry about that before I do the brakes there So I'm gonna start with this as I have just bought the new uh, wiring and everything It's not gonna come in for another few more days But at least you guys get an idea of, of what it takes to um, to take apart the, the wiring from here up to here All right, so later on as I said before I'll rerun the wire all the way to the master cylinder and on to the other side All right, I just want to show you guys that just so that way um, those who, who have never taken apart the wiring and, and you find that your, your wiring is a little bit frail, right? Or, or even yet that the uh, rigid lines are kind of crappy. At least you guys have an idea of how to replace those and it's, it's fairly straightforward. All right. Bye. So as you can see, I, I, I took this out, right? And, and this is the pressure plate that I mentioned earlier on, right? Um, let me grab my flashlight. See? 
So that's gone, right? And what that does is it lets this go. If you take a look, this wire just has, it's just threaded. So that way, that's what's pulling in the, um, the wire itself. So you see me do it here. It's more or less rinse and repeat over there as well. So once I unscrew this, um, this is going to come straight through and then this pressure plate's going to come out and this wire will be out as well. So I'll, I'll do the same thing there and then I'll show you. Okay. Okay. So for the top piece, um, it's actually just this retaining clip. You see it? You see how I, I've got some of it out already? So all I need to do is actually continue doing that. Let me see if I can pull this. Now, you guys have asked me to get a tripod, and I think I should. But, you know, let me see what I can do for now. So I've got that, I've got that, and the only thing left to do is just to pry this out. I started to get it loose already, so, and now there's a gap. And that gap should allow me to, if I just keep twitching at it, let me see, without trying to hurt myself, of course. Ideally, in normal cases, this should come right out. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So let me do this. Let me uh, attempt to remove it with uh, without a camera, and then I'll show you guys afterward. Okay, folks, as you can see, that's the clip itself. See it? And then all you have to do now is just push this and it'll come right through. All right, let me see. It's rusted, but it'll come right through. So as you can see, now I've got to replace, I need to, so I've got all the parts, all the hardware I need to put back. Ideally, I should buy new hardware, but uh, I think these would do for now until I get new hardware. But at least there, guys, that's what it takes to, um, replace the wire that's here as well as the the rigid wire that's here all right so when the parts come in i will re-plug it back in i don't need to do a video on that but at least you guys get the idea of what it looks like okay and then uh we'll look at the other parts cool